Hello everyone, my name is Divya Narimpali. I'm joining you guys from Dallas, USA. I'm here to share my spiritual journey with you and how I have implemented all the spiritual concepts I have learned into my daily life. My spiritual journey started when I was 16 years old and that was a time I moved away from my parents to get better education opportunities. I joined a boarding school and the education system in my boarding school was very fast-paced and there's so much of competition and expectation. This stress has taken toll on me both physically and mentally. I lost interest in my life and my self-confidence level has uh, depleted and I was unable to sleep at night and had developed so many fears and phobias about examinations. Friends, that was the time my mother Padma introduced me to pyramid meditation. I thought to give it a try. I used to meditate for about 10-15 minutes before my study hours, between my sessions and even before sleeping. And this routine has really helped me a lot. I was able to become peaceful and calm. I slowly regained my self-confidence levels, was able to sleep better and I had so much of focus and memory. And this routine continued for a few more months and by the end of the second year, I have graduated with my college with uh, flying colors. My grades has improved a lot and uh, there was a huge difference in my grades. I have improved by 11% compared to the first year uh, marks and it surprised my parents and as well as my teachers. Since then, learning has become so much fun and uh, my life has become more purposeful and meaningful. Uh, um, and I have become a huge fan of Pyramid philosophy and I have read many books by uh, PSSM masters and recommended by Patriji. Some of the books I read were Jonathan Little Siegel by Richard Bach, You Forever by Lotsa Grampa, The Monk Who Sold Ferrari by Robin Sharma, Toltec Four Agreements by Don Michael Bruce, Soul's Journey by Peter Richello. I also attended many uh, pieces of events organized by of masters and also developed many senior most famous masters. In the next few years of life, I did so much of research and spent so much of time analyzing and understanding the concepts I have learned and also implemented so many concepts and got wonderful benefits from them. Later on in my life, I have got married to my husband Kanishka in 2009 and uh, being in a new relationship took a, took a toll on me again, both physically and mentally. We both uh, used to have fights and arguments constantly, and the life felt like scary roller coaster drive. drive. And again, the concepts that helped me to build my relationship were uh, soul's journey and having patience. So, in the, uh, the, the concept of soul science says that we all are souls and we all choose our own life partners and our parents, kids, even before we are born. This concept really uh, enlightened me and it helped really helped me to build my relationship with my husband. Every night before I sleep, I used to analyze myself, how can, how can I be better the next day and what is the teaching trying to teach me? When I question myself, I used to get the answers in my, in my meditation and I used to apply these answers in the following day. With this routine, slowly the bond between us got stronger and now we are proud parents of two young boys, six-year-old son Rishi and one-year-old son Agastya. And as I move on into my life, the next phase was to pursue my career in, in USA. I'm a physical therapist by profession. In order to work here as physical therapist, I need to give a license and I have to give an exam called National Physical Therapy Examination. This exam is one of the toughest exam and they have many phobias and uh, judgments about this exam. They said that um, not all Indian students would clear this exam the first attempt. They may take few, few more, uh, few or many attempts to clear this. The concepts that helped me to clear this exam were thought power, affirmations, and pyramid energy. And I was able to clear my exam the first attempt. I always used to constantly replace my negative thoughts with the positive thoughts with affirmations. The next phase of life was to find a dream job I was looking for. Despite of having all the education qualifications and a work visa, I had trouble finding the job. The concept that really helped me to find that my job was law of giving. I set an intention to myself. If I find this job, 
I'm going to donate 10% of my salary for spiritual service. So within a week of setting this intention, I was into the job I was looking for. That was a miracle of love you know, given, uh, giving has been there in my life. The next phase of my life was uh, pregnancy and childbirth. Like all the women in the world, I too had many fears and phobias about pregnancy and my life and the changes in my life that are going to come after a delivery. Despite of all these fears, during meditation, I started inviting a soul to be my child for this lifetime. Within few weeks, I came to know I was pregnant. My pregnancy progressed so well and every day during pregnancy, I used to wake up at 4, 4 a.m. in the morning and I used to meditate and do yoga. This routine really helped me to get stronger both physically and mentally. And I used to call this time as baby time. And I used to work full time and I used to travel a lot. It's about 70 miles away from my place, my job location. I used to travel a lot. And after four or five months of pregnancy, this traveling has to get toll on me physically. Then I thought I need to have a better job which is very close to my home. Then I communicated that with my baby. I told my baby, yes, this, this job is not going to benefit you on me and we need to find a better job closer to my home. Uh, I did everything I need to do physically. I, I took my baby's help and asked the baby to work uh, I, and get the things ready astral, in the astral level. Within a month, I got a job which is just five miles away from my home. And my pregnancy progressed so well and one day in my ninth month of pregnancy myself my mom and my husband were discussing about potential baby names rishi was one of the names we were discussing i was uh, after lunch i was re relaxing the reclining sofa and i put my finger on my tummy and said oh your name is rishi and i saw a huge movement in my belly like than ever before and that confirmed me yes my name is rishi so uh, I, I just put it to myself, I didn't share with anyone and my pregnancy progressed so well and I was into labor and as soon as my, my baby was born, my husband and me named him as Rishi and whilst I'm giving birth to my baby, I was in a no, no mind state and all the doctors and nurses felt like angels welcoming uh, Rishi into this world and I had a beautiful pregnancy and childbirth experience. In the year 2018, I happened to go to the one of the world's uh, toughest trekking called Everest Base Camp Trek. This trekking was to uh, Mount Everest Base Camp. Mount Everest is one of the top highest mountain peaks in the world. Uh, I somehow felt I have to go there. So I, I made all the plans and uh, I, was I went there. It was about 15 days trek and we have to hike about 125 miles and with the altitude about 5,400 meters above the sea level. It's around 20,000 feet above the sea level. So when you're in that altitude, you have less oxygen. And the concepts that helped me to overcome all the challenges during the trek were self-love, gratitude, and Toltec for agreements. For example, I had so many friends and other tour guides they used to judge me looking at my fitness level and all those things but i told myself i'm not taking all these judgments personally i'm going to do my best and on the way back suddenly the temperature in the changed so drastically and it dropped to minus four degrees it was raining and all of a sudden i was unable to move my left leg my left leg is not listening to my mind and I was trying to push myself and I, uh, I tried to push my drag my foot and take few more steps to reach the nearest accommodation and uh, within few minutes the right leg also stopped communicating and due to extreme cold my hands got so numb I was uh, unable to hold the trekking poles it all, and slowly within few seconds my uh, eyelids are drooping as I am unable to sleep Within few seconds, I was unable to talk, unable to come with the tour guides, and it uh, my eyelids were drooping. It almost felt like I was taking my last breath. So as I closed my eyes, I told myself, I'm not dying here. I have so much to contribute to the world. And setting this affirmation, setting this intention, I closed my eyes. I was unconscious for three hours. The tour guides took uh, turns and uh, carrying me on their backs to the nearest accommodation. And as, uh, within a few hours, I uh, regained my uh, conscious levels and uh, come back alive. 
and the next day of the trek is supposed to be 16 uh, hours long trek we have to walk up to the near, nearest town in that place and uh, I started doubting myself after having this uh, near-death experience my body felt so weak and I was mentally and physically so exhausted I felt like oh I don't know how I'm going to manage the next day and walk for 16 hours the, uh, the next day as we started the trek before we started the trek I massaged my whole body and telling you uh, the gratitude to each part of the body and started my trek Surprisingly, friends, I was able to manage 16 hours trek and I, I really uh, was amazed about the potential of the physical body, what the physical body can do and how it can stretch its limitations. And we, uh, we hiked for four more days and came back to New York's town and our, our, our trip was successful. I got few insights during the trek. I, uh, we, uh, we have to accept ourselves as we are and we have to accept others and people around us, around us as they are. We are also 50% physical and 50% spiritual. We are actually both. We, ha we have come here to experience both physicality and spirituality. Friends, these are some of the experiences in my life I had. I hope that my experience inspired some of you to take meditation uh, as a serious practice into your life and since I have benefited so much from meditation and spirituality I felt I need to give this to the people around me since 2010 I have been actively taking uh, roles in promoting meditation vegetarianism and pyramid energy to all the people around me in Dallas and also in Atlanta in USA thank you